Okay, class, today we're in section 8.2, part 3, which is on page AL4. 8.2, part 3, page AL4. Modeling with combined functions. Modeling with combined functions. 8.2, part 3, modeling with combined functions. Your goal, use arithmetic operations to do combined functions. You can perform arithmetic operations on functions in much the same way that you add, subtract, multiply, and divide algebraic expressions. Okay, read example one, combine linear functions on your own before I begin to explain the solution. Read example one, combine linear functions on your own before I begin to explain the solution. Solution A, add the models for the participation by male and female students to Find a model for the total participation P in millions by all students. So all we're going to do is add both models, male and female. Add the models. All right, so we write that down. P is equal to 0 0.06 times T plus 3.8 plus 0 0.04 times T plus 2.7. Combine like terms. All right, here they show you how to group. Notice how the T's are together and notice how the constants are together. And after grouping, you get 0 0.06 times t plus 0 0.04 times t. That's going to equal to 0 0.1 times t. On the other side, you're going to get 3.8 plus 2.7. That's 6.5. Now, for those of us who are more comfortable, we can go directly from here to right here. 0.06t t plus 0.04t t is 0.1t. 3.8 plus 2.7 is 6.5. Now, after doing that, you then substitute 7 for t in the model because 2007 is 7 years after 2000. So p is equal to 0.1 times 7 plus 6.5, and that's going to equal to 7.2. About 7.2 million students participated in high school sports in 2007. Okay, for part b, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the model for the participation by female students from the model for the participation by male students to find a model for the difference in participation D in millions. So here we get D is equal to 0 0.06 times T plus 3.8 minus 0 0.04 times T plus 2.7. Once again, we're going to combine like terms. Here, they show us by grouping. We group the T's and we group the constants. 0 0.06 times T minus 0 0.04 T is equal to 0 0.02t. 3.8 minus 2.7 is 1.1. Now, once again, we could have gone directly from here to right here. But if we did, we're going to have to recall that this negative sign here must be distributed here and here. Once again, the negative sign must be distributed to the 0 0.04t and then to the uh, 2.7. So you could have said 0 0.06t minus 0 0.04t, and that would have given you 0 0.02t. 3.8 minus 2.7 would have given you 1.1. After doing so, substitute for 9, excuse me, substitute 9 for t in the model because 2009 is 9 years after 2000. d is equal to 0 0.02 times 9 plus 1.1. That equals 1.28. So, about 1.28 million more male students than female students participated in high school sports in 2009. Okay, read example two, combine linear and exponential functions before I begin to explain the solutions. Read example two, combine linear and exponential functions before I begin to explain the solutions. Step one, add the models for the populations to find a model for the total population P in thousands of the two counties. P is equal to 1.2t plus 42. That came from Boone County. All right, now for Kendall County, we're going to add to that 555.2 times 1.076 raised to the t. Raised to the t. Okay, now in step two, you're going to substitute 10 for T in the model because 2010 is 10 years after 2000. 
So P is equal to 1.2 times 10, in place of T we put 10, plus 42.1, plus 55.2, times 1.076 raised to the 10th power. Once again, in place of T we put 10. And that's going to equal to 54.1 plus 55.2 times 1.076 raised to the 10th. And that's going to be um, about 169. So the total population of the two counties in 2010 was about 169,000. All right, now for those of us that may need more clarification, let's take our calculator out and make sure that we know how to come about this answer of 169. Um, thousand. All right, first of all, you know you got 1.2 times 10. So 1.2 times 10 is 12. So 12 plus 42 is 54.1. All right, now to figure out this portion, you want to look on your calculator for either one of the following keys. Look for a key that says y to the x or x to the y. y to the x or x to the y. All right, now what you're going to do is, in place of y, if you have the y to the x key, you're going to put in 1.076. If yours says x to the y, in place of x, you're going to put in 1.076. For the exponent, in this case, for x, you put in 10. And in this case, for y, you put in 10. Press your button. And then you come out with the answer, and whatever you come out with, you will multiply it by 55.2. After you do that, then you would add that to 54.1, and that would give you an answer of 169,000, or 169. Okay? So once again, in your calculator, in place of Y, you're going to put 1.076, or... In place of X here, your base, you put in 1.076. Here, you put in 10. Here, you put in 10. Whatever you get for your answer, you take that and multiply it by 55.2. Then add that to 54.1, and you should come up with 169. Everybody do so right now. Okay, for those of us who need more explanation, Okay, 1.076, put down your calculator, press the Y to the X key or the X to the Y key, and then put in 10, and that's going to equal to 2.08. Now you take 2.08 and multiply that by 55.2. That's the 55.2 right there. And that's going to come out to be approximately 114.83. Now you take the 114.83 uh, and you're going to add that to 54.1. So 54.1 plus 114.83 is equal to 168.93. And since we're talking about population, we're going to round this off or say that it's very close to 169. All right, there's not that many problems to do. I believe there's like only three. So we're going to complete all three. Thank you.